So what we have here is the brake line is busted because of age. So we are going to replace this motherfucker. Motherfucker. Can I have a temple line broke up. from here? Everything you can see that is corroded. So it broke from here. What we're going to do is probably go somewhere over here where the corrosion is past. Because nobody has this line in stock. So we have to make one. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to take these guys out. That way you can pop all these things and separate them. So because we are on the road, this is like a quick fix, a temporary fix. This is nothing permanent. It's gonna be just quick. We need this little tool right here, pipe cutter. Very, very important. You can't really do this without it. I mean, you could probably, but you look for more trouble. So you get this guy going around, around, around. Tighten it more. As you're cutting, you gotta keep turning and readjusting. So it keeps going deeper and deeper into the pipe. There you go, ta-da. Now we are going to flare it with a flaring tool. Like this guy right here. And this is a 316 pipe. So we are gonna put it to the 316 attachment. But first, you need to put one of these guys in there. You want to do this before you flare it. Because after you flare it, you're fucked. So we're going to put this guy in here. It goes in there perfect. Um, do we have like a little wire brush or something somewhere? Oh, sure. So we are on the road right now actually trying to do this in a parking lot. Because this car has to get... Has to get to the shop so we can work on it but this little problem happened and so there's corrosion on the line you need to get some of that corrosion so you can actually put your fitting on there um john right now is looking for he's looking for a wire brush but i'm not sure if we have one i don't know if we have one here on site so gotta improvise scrape it with Gotta scrape it with the uh, pliers or something, whatever you got. So we're just gonna try to clean it as best as we can. We got rid of that corroded pipe. So. This is the piece that we took off. It was broken right there. Again, and you want it going this way. You don't want to go in the other way because that's then that's pointless. So we'll make sure this guy goes in a little more. That's perfect. Then we're gonna grab this tool. Now again, we're doing this in a parking lot. So given the circumstances, I think we're doing pretty good. Now you want to tighten these guys because you don't want to, if I'm not mistaken, that's a 13. So you want to tighten these guy so it doesn't move as you go to flare it. What does flaring mean? Um, you're going to make like a little hat on the end of it. So it matches good with, so it matches good into this part right here. So when you go to, put it onto the, the other attachment it kind of cups into it okay. so one of the main things is you want everything to be straight so this is part of your flaring tools kit and you want to open this guy you want to line it up really good but really good, I mean really fucking perfect. Because if not, the flare comes out crooked. Bless you. 
I'm doing downstairs. And then literally just crank it. Feels a little funky, so I'm gonna move this part a little bit lower on the car, on the line. That way, we can get a better feel for it. Right there should be okay. That way I can make the flare a little bit better. <coughs> so again, we go back, try to center everything. Always do it by hand first. And you wanna do this by hand, you don't wanna use no gun, you don't wanna use any of that stuff because these lines are kinda of soft. <coughs> Especially on something like this, that's kind of all you really don't want to do that. Excuse my mess, but like I said before, this is uh, not planned. <laughs> so, now you're going to have to open it a little bit more. As you can see, that's your flare right there. There you go. So now this part won't come out. And then when you go to put it on the other attachment, which should be, where's the other little attachment? So the reason why we make a flare on this, if you look inside of here, there's a cup. That cup is opposite to this. So when you go to tighten it, it goes in and it pulls it together, making it a better seal. So there you go. Can I have a 10 millimeter, please? And uh, 12. Long, short, anything special? Uh, wrench, 10 and 12. So we have a replacement line. Um, I already put the fitting, the attachment to connect them together. Now, what I need to do is cut the line so it fits right there, um, make a little bend to it just to get it to fit and that should be good so that side was perfect in there this side we need to cut so we're gonna have to cut right there possibly right there and then we're gonna have to do the same thing flare it out and get it to fit so again with this thing on my jigger I don't want to lose my mark. I have nothing else to mark it with, so I don't want to lose my mark. So we're just gonna eyeball it pretty much. Not the way that I work. Measure three times, cut once. But again, given our circumstances right now, I think we're okay. So, okay, I'm gonna go outside because there's no point in cutting it under the car. Might as well be comfortable. Oh, and it's night time. Could be drinking beer right now, some bullshit. Hey, I have. Mm. I have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's clean. Should I go get it? Hmm? It's yeah. Clean. It's about that time, I think. It's about that time. Yeah. Out here, you can see a little bit better of the flaring process. Once again, I do not condone drinking and driving. I like to have fun, but I like to do it safely. So don't think just because the page is called Drunk Tone Garage that we go around doing all kinds of nonsense, drinking and driving. That is not what we're about. Now that we got that out of the way, back to flaring.
this is the factory flare which good and all but sometimes you gotta improvise And always go back and check make sure your flare is coming out straight if not it will leak keep that in mind you don't want to work twice you want to do it once get it done feel free to leave in the comments how you would have done this different or would you do this any different? Would you have replaced the whole line? Um, let us know. Give us ideas. We are always open to new ideas. I mean, um, given the circumstances, this is probably the only method that we had. So look at your flare, make sure it's nice, nice and even. I'm gonna clean it up a little. There you go so this is something that you would buy aftermarket this is the flare that I just made I don't think it's that bad so the new line is on other end just might have to massage it a little bit to get it to actually it how we wanted it it's okay things like this happen all the time and then we're just gonna have to uh, figure out the bend to get it back to hiding up there like factory which shouldn't be a big deal so right now we are where's the three eights so we're gonna lock try to get this guy in position right there and lock it Same thing with this guy. I think. There we go. Hold one end. You can uh, yeah. hold one end. Tighten the other. Be very careful. You don't strip it. You strip it. You just kind of screw up your whole job. guy and we're gonna tighten this guy down here now we like leaving everything back as close to factory as possible so we are gonna put everything back we'll close everything up john doing john stuff can you go inside the car be very careful and pump the brakes make sure nothing's leaking out of here make sure there's fluid in there too please so there you have it guys um, John doing John stuff is pumping the brake. Nothing's leaking out. I think it's a success. All we got to do is bleed the brakes and we are good to go. Thank you for watching.